look at this tree here. It looks very similar to a tree that we've seen in a previous video. And if you Notice the shredding of the bark. These are redwood trees, coast redwoods. Their bark should look like this. Kind of furrowed and has these deep ridges in it. But this has been shredded off. Now I was over there on that old road which is kind of flooded right now, and I noticed the shredding on this tree. The reason it stood out is because I was looking at a, a bear den in the previous video, and the shredding on this tree looks just like the shredding on the other bear den video. So, I climbed up on the stump here, which is big. This is a redwood stump, and I'd imagine this is about eight feet across, and five feet, five feet by eight feet. It's huge. I'm standing on top of it. And uh, redwoods are very big trees, tallest trees in the world, in fact. But what I'm doing is looking at the base of the stump, and it's an upside down view from here because I haven't climbed down there yet, but look at that hole. Perfect bear den. And I think this may have been a den at some point in the past, or it was a place where the bear that uh, created the den that I found in my other videos started to create a den and then abandoned for some reason. Now you notice there's a really well-worn trail here also going downstream. Um, we're above a creek here, quite a ways down there in that canyon. It's hard to see from here because there's a lot of brush. But we're right on the edge of the canyon. This would be a great place for a bear den. And I'm going to try and climb down here and see if I can look into that hole a little closer and confirm my suspicions that this may have been a bear den. Black bear is the species here. We don't have grizzly bears, just black bears. So I'll go see. Okay, I've climbed down off the stump, which you can see here. Quite a large stump in the center of a ring of trees. Look at the, the uh, damage to the bark of this tree here. You can see sap oozing out where it's been scratched off. And the bark has been shredded, just like at the other bear den site. The ground here shows some sign. Normally under a redwood tree, you would find all kinds of these. Let me refocus here. I wanted to show these a little close up. These are redwood leaves and needles. Um, but you notice that there's gaps here in the forest floor where there are no needles. So obviously there's been some activity. Someone has been in here. Um, Obviously not a human. Now look at this branch here. Look at all this activity. This is again a redwood and it's still living. It doesn't look like it, but if you look up here, you'll see it's still growing. And way up there, there are green leaves. So this is a living branch and it has been bent over. It looks like this log at one point fell on it and bent it over. But what's really super interesting about this is this activity. There's been some rubbing here, scratching on the bark. The old bark is worn off. It's down to the cambium layer here. And notice that up here there's moss covering the bark and it's gone from up here or from the down the lower part here. So it looks to me like the bear has been going over this or climbing up on it to do this scratching activity. All this scratching of the bark, shredding it when it should look like this, shredding it like this is a way of gathering nesting material to uh, create a nice mattress, a nice uh, comfortable and very well insulated mattress inside of the den. And I am assuming that right down there I'm going to find a den. Really cool. Let's go see. I have to climb through there first. Okay, now I've managed to clamber through this brush here and you can get a better look at the tree and all the damage that has happened here way up there. I'd say that's a good 15 feet up there. Way up there where the bear's been scratch scratching this bark and dropping it down to the forest floor to gather nesting material for its den. Look at this broken branch right here. Probably stood on this log right here. You can see some scratch marks right there. And when I got down here, that's my tripod that's in the way. 
you can see this was some uh looks like a double stump here there was one big tree here that got logged at some okay my camera ran out of battery power there so i got cut off i was examining the tree here uh we're standing on one stump you can look down and see that we're up above the level of the the surrounding forest and then there's another stump up here which is the one that i've climbed around from the old road over there to get down here now this stump the second stump here is hollow inside as redwoods very often are um the vegetation in there is matted down and i'm going to point with my tripod but notice that these new redwood needles here are knocked over on their side this one's uh, fallen off but these are actually still growing right here and they've been knocked over on their side they should be standing upright see like that so i'm going to get a flashlight and try to show the inside of this den because it's very dark in there okay i've got my little flashlight here let's go look in the bear's den this is a nice den a spider web on the front here so i know he's not in there I hope not. Let's look inside. Cozy. Huh. That is a nice, open, cozy den. I'm going to knock the spider web out of there. But what you notice in here is that there is some of that redwood bark material in here, and there are also a lot of redwood needles in here. So the bear made itself quite a nice, cozy little den in here where it could stay out of the rain beautiful i could fit in here if i wasn't claustrophobic but i'm not gonna go in there so i'm gonna use my tripod here and show you how big the entrance is um ow i don't hit myself in the head with the tripod again okay so about a foot and a half here that part's maybe two feet or so so i'd say the top part of that is two feet tall maybe a couple feet wide there so the entrance to the bear's den is very small and if you look upwards you notice that there's a big covered tree canopy up here and we get a lot of rain up here this year so far we've had 39 inches of rain i think um, our normal is around 60 inches of rain in this area so if you were a bear and you wanted to stay dry during the winter in this area you would pick a den under a tree with lots of cover just like this and preferably one that's underneath a log that is not open at the top and in fact this one was not open at the top because i just climbed on it uh, and you would go inside underneath the log where it's cozy and cozy all winter long and uh you'd make a little nest in there and it looks like the insulation material that the bear brought in here kept them fairly well off the ground so even though it looks wet over here, this den does not appear to have been used this year. Could have been last year's den, maybe even from the same bear. Um, but you notice that over here, I'm going to try and get in there a little better, it's dry. And all that material that the bear dragged in here kept this side of the den dry. So if you were a bear, you'd probably sleep up here and you'd be toasty. This would, um, this small entrance and the wonderful insulative properties of redwood would uh, provide you with great insulation to sleep on uh, not to mention the fact that they've got very thick fur coat um, but this den would be an ideal place for a bear to spend the winter and plus it's nice and isolated this is an old road nobody uses it anymore um, myself and a couple other people are pretty much the only folks I ever see hiking in here and uh, this bear has a perfect spot. Um, right here, the edge drops off, goes down into the cliff, um, goes down into the canyon there of the creek, which is very steep. So um, nobody's going to approach from that direction. And probably nobody would approach from the road, which is on the opposite side of this log. So this bear has a perfect den location here. And hopefully the bear will use this den location at some point in the future. It would be really nice to set up a trail camera on one of these trees. Um, and be able to look in here and watch the life of the bear during the wintertime. So that was my be uh, second bear den discovery out here um, in as many weeks. Um, I guess I'm getting used to looking for the, the search image here. And that's one thing about tracking is you'll develop a search image. You'll see 
the normal baseline state of redwood trees is that. But the shredded appearance of this and this tree here, the shredded appearance of that bark is what clued me in that something happened here. This is uh, way beyond what a squirrel would do. Squirrels do shred these trees to get uh, nesting material. Um, they're smart too. But the fact is that once you develop a search image, your tracking will improve because you're going to start seeing things that you previously walked past. And I know for a fact I've walked past this tree and looked at it in the past. And I've even thought about how could a squirrel possibly make that much sign on a tree. And I never took the time to crawl over here and see what might be uh, might be at the base of those trees. And I'm glad I did because this is a really neat discovery. And uh, this is the kind of thing you can find if you uh, keep practicing your tracking. So I hope you've enjoyed looking at this bear's den and, and that you find some on your own. See you on the trail.